Hi, Dr. Ron Benson. Uh, today's April 15th. The tax day just got pushed out three months. Um, so it buys us a little bit there, although California obviously won their property taxes because they need money to run on. And when incomes drop, California goes in the dump. So what I want to do today is talk a little bit about me because I've always been the person that I felt like I was in control. If there was something that needed fixing, it was something that I could go work on in myself, my business, my life, my family. And so right now, I think part of the stress that we're all feeling is we're all out of control. It seems like someone else is running things. So I just wanna bring it back to me, what I'm working on, um, and I hope that you can get something from this. I love looking at my life twice a year, or even more than that, Carol and I will sit down, we'll look at where we're headed, are we happy with where we're headed, where are we going, and we look at the goals that we have for our lives and the action steps to get there, and then this, the steps that tell us we're going along the way. Now, I also belong to several different groups. One of my favorite groups is a mentoring group. It's called 360 Degrees Leveling Up. So 360 degrees means you're looking at your life in a big circle. And we sit down and we talk to each other. Um, we hold each other accountable. Um, and, and you gotta hold yourself accountable. So me talking about my goals today is gonna help me because you're gonna be holding me accountable. But these are the areas that we typically look at. And it might be different for you because of different goals. So this is my 360 degrees leveling up mentor group. The goals that we look at, health, family. The reason health is on top, you can't take care of your family. You can't take care of your business. You can't take care of your career. You can't take care of anything unless you have health. So health is always first. And sometimes you might think, well, it's selfish to think of me first. No. If you go down, you are selfish because you affected your family, your spouse, your kids, um, your coworkers. So you always got to take care of your health first. So these are some of the different areas that I look at. Health, family, business. Um, if you have a career, so that could be business slash career. I'm also involved heavily in the chiropractic profession, so I have that goal there for things I'm working on, financial, adventure and vacation, and spiritual. So your goals could be different, but those are the rough categories. Now, the reason I'm talking about that is I am turning 65 years old, two months on June the 16th. This is April 15th. I set some fairly ambitious physical health goals to turn 65, and I'll tell you, since this last month shutdown, I'm way off track. The last week of February, I went skiing. Um, we always eat too much, even though we're skiing every day. So um, some of my goals are not being met, so I've got eight weeks from today to get to work. And so you're gonna help hold me accountable. So my health goals for my birthday 168 pounds. When I was on the scale this morning, 197.7. So that means I gotta do 10 pounds in eight weeks. Van's laughing at me. <laughs> I want, and I'm gonna do 20 pull-ups followed by 20 dips. I was able to do that when I was a teenager and in my early 20s, um, but that's my goal. Right now, I've been 16 pull-ups and then followed by 17 dips. So I'm close, I got eight weeks to go. And I'm the guy that when we set goals, Carol and I sit down, we do a vision board. Now this is my goal book for 2020. It's also a journal where I, I sit down and journal, but this is the things that I look at to keep me motivated. I clip out pictures and it says there, lean, strong, flexible, fit, muscles and abs, by my birthday on 616. 20 pull-ups followed by 20 dips. And that's my goals. Now, the other category, I'm just showing you this one. 
I cut out pictures of the places I want to go in the next year or two. So I'm setting my goals, I'm cutting my pictures out, I'm doing my vision, and then my affirmations. So affirmation is a positive statement. I feel great at 168. I look and feel great with muscles and abs. So what are your goals, where are you headed to? But since I got a dump about 10 pounds in eight weeks, it's totally doable. But it's got to get back to the right lifestyle because we've all been stressed out. We've all been eating wrong. Last week we talked about fear, stress, cortisol. You gain fat. Let me come back to this. I'm not talking about losing weight because the heaviest tissues in your body, your bone and muscle, don't talk about weight. Let's call it what it is. I got to lose 10 pounds of fat in the next eight weeks. You can't exercise your way into that. You got to start with focusing on the way you eat. So remember, we use that acronym DREAM, diet, rest, exercise, adjustment, and mindfulness. So today, a couple quick things on diet. First of all, it's more important what you eat than how much you eat. It's what you eat, when you eat, how much you eat. I'm just going to talk about a couple things that are really super important, which is time-restricted eating. Break fast, break fast, means you're fasting and then you're going to break that fast. That has to be at least 12 hours on a minimum, so you want to restrict your eating down to a window. We could cover intermittent fasting, but really, science is really clear. One of the main things that messes your whole health up is eating within two hours before bed. So one of my projects, one of the things I have to do, I gotta stop eating. If I eat at seven and then I eat again at seven in the morning, that's 12 hours. But if I eat at nine and go to bed, then I'm eating at seven again, I'm not getting the 12 hours, so I need 12 hours. So that time-restricted eating is critical you got to stop eating two hours before bed. I also, we're not going to talk about what to eat. That's a whole nutrition seminar. Um, let me just say this. If you are not taking omega-3s and vitamin D, um, K2, vitamin K2 goes with vitamin D. Remember, boosting health, is, those are essential. Essential means they're required. If you're not taking them, they can't, you can't get enough in your diet. You've got to supplement so when we talk about the D and then I look at how much you can go online to a, a BMR calculator plug your weight in desired weight your age and your sex it'll give you the calories so the next eight weeks I cannot go over 1537 calories in a, in a day but more importantly than that I've got to keep that window of eating narrowed down and I've got to stop two hours before bed. So what I'm going to challenge you to do because we all do better when we're challenged, take what I'm talking about, set some goals in here. Now obviously business and financial goals, we can't travel right now. So a lot of these things are out of our control. What you can control is how you relate to your family, what you do for your health and your spiritual. Set yourself some health goals figure out the steps you need to do. Join us for my birthday party here in the office, Saturday, June 13th. Everything's gonna be good by then. So I'm looking forward to seeing you at 168 pounds. I feel great at 168. I'm gonna do my 20 pull-ups and 20 dips on my own before. I'll let you know I did them. Thanks.